have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ. rwgresearch.com is my website. So this is a little bit different. First of all, you're on the ground almost. Couldn't find my tripod. You know, it happens. So I've been working on so many little different things that I haven't had time to really put together some more like videos in series for the uh, OSD printer. So I'm going to show you something I did with this printer. Now most of the things I do are very like pristine and polished and nice and this is like completely the opposite. This is like I want to get this done now and I want to do it in a half an hour. So that's what I did. So this is the uh, old Rostock, still working fine. Um, even with the plastic bushings, everything's still, still, still cooking. Seems to be working really well, actually. But originally what I had on here was a squirrel cage fan, PC squirrel cage fan about this big. And then I put a tube on there with some uh, latex tubing and I ran the tubing up and I basically forced the air out past the hot end and that's how I, you know, cooled things. Um, I took that off about halfway through, the latex got soft and crumbly. Um, and when you bog that fan down, uh, if you close it off to where you just have a small hole, I believe it was like a 3 8 inch inside diameter latex tube, it just sort of bogged the fan down anyway. Uh, so what I wanted to do for a long time, and I brought home a bunch of PC fans to hook up to this guy to make it work, I wanted to just put some regular fans on here. Now unfortunately, I never got time to 3D print the nice brackets with the adjustments on them and make it look all pretty. What I did instead is on a Saturday, I just hack something together. So I'm gonna show you what I did on here because I think it's, you know, one of those things that's like, Russ just slapped this thing together. It works pretty well. So I thought I'd show it, show it to you. So let's turn this thing around. Um, I took four PC fans. Uh, this cord isn't quite long enough. I took four PC fans, all right, and I just hacked them onto the back here. Okay, I'll get you a close-up, but basically it's just the wires coming out of the, of the fan port on the uh, ramps. It's coming up here and it's just all connected to these four fans and they're just they're just dangling here as you can see. So let me get you a close-up of what I did. I think it's not the best thing, but it works really well. Here we are. So we've got the ramps here. We've got the wire coming out of the ramps. It's hidden down in there. These two wires right here. All right, they come up here and they are just soldered to the positive and negative on the first fan and a couple of jumper wires. Now these jumper wires aren't even soldered in here, they're just pushed into the original fan connectors. Here you can actually see the, these are just sitting in there. I don't want to pull it out, but anyway, they're just those jumpers you use on a breadboard. And uh, then what I did is I took some regular magnet wire, you could take any wire, like uh, if you had a clothes hanger or something like that, and I just made two loops, ran over here and made two more loops, and just screwed them right into the back of this wood. Now my original intention here was of course to put something nice, but I just didn't have time to sit down and do that and 3D print those, so this is what I did. Um, these are 12 volt fans. I don't have the PWM hooked up to them. Um, and then these do have the little rubber things, so basically that's just for uh, vibration insulation. I don't know how much like how important it really was to use those on this setup. But I wanted to be, you know, as quiet as possible um, just to make sure, you know, I didn't have really loud fans. Originally, I just had a fan out here after I took the uh, other one off. And actually, the only time I really used the fans is with PLA. Um, I noticed a few other plastics which really work good with layer cooling like this. But um, I'm printing tall objects, so I really just have uh, it's you know, <clears throat> when I print tall skinny objects I, I set fans up similar to this temporarily to see if this was going to work and it worked pretty well so I just have them set up here and like I said they're just you know they're just dangling on here all right they're not they're not that great but it's just one of those slap together objects so let's turn it on and hear what it sounds like okay so the thing about the wires, right, is I can bend those fans and put them anywhere I want, right? That's the nice thing about it. If you'd like to know the part number of the fans, I picked the most quiet ones I could get out of there. There you go. 
0.33 of an amp at 12 volt DC. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, now I personally don't like using the PWM section, so I'm just going to crank it all the way up. So I'm going to be real quiet so you guys can hear what it sounds like. So here's the background noise. And now I'm going to turn them on. Turn them back off. And turn it back on. So, pretty quiet considering the motors are definitely louder. So, you might be able to hear the wind noise on my mic. But they're blowing pretty good. Uh, I don't think I have any tissue paper around here. Maybe I can get some just to show you. All right, the best thing I could find, a square of toilet paper. You can see even from way over here, we're blowing pretty good. Anyway, then you can just bend those fans around and make it work the way you want it. But uh, yeah, that was just a just a simple little hack, just to slap it together. And I used it once with a pretty big print, about this big, and it seemed to work just great. So simple, simple, easy peasy, get it done, lemon squeezy. Okay, turn those back off. You probably can't even hear them. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to share this with you guys because, uh, you know, you can just slap stuff together and just make it functional. It doesn't have to be pretty. So this is actually a pretty simple, very simple solution. Uh, I had, you know, like a bigger fan sitting out here and it was just, it was really loud. And if you can just dedicate the air where you want it, it's even better. The reason that I don't have it attached to the hot end is because on the deltas, the less weight you have on the hot end, the better. Now. In my personal opinion, I think if you attach a regular fan like this to the actual hot end and you put it horizontally, it's going to have a gyroscoping effect. It's going to either ruin the bushing on the fan or the bearings, or it'll actually try to screw up your print if you're moving really fast. Now, if you're going slow, it's no big deal, but if you're going pretty fast and really doing some printing, I have a feeling it'll affect it. Now, if the fan was turned on the other way, so you're moving it in the same direction as the axis, that is probably fine uh, because the way it's moving, as long as you're not doing a bunch of rapid up and down moves. But in the end, I do not want to put a fan on this hot end, or on the end effector, I should say. Um, and then as far as the OSD is concerned, I'm doing something completely different. So I'm actually going to be making some special things for this. Um, even if it's a fail, I'll still put it in the series because I spent a lot of time actually playing with this fan in different ways. So that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Just wanted to throw a video up because uh, I haven't been able to sit down and edit some of my other content and I got lots of it. So this will make it easy to edit and slap it up there for you guys. All right. Peace and love. Have a good day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I would love to see some of your guys' fan mods. Uh, I originally like i said i had that squirrel cage fan on here and i seen a few people almost using like a fish pump and pumping it through a small tube that's a great idea um, this fan right here is actually going to act as something very similar to that so if this works i'll probably modify this one well if i want to i'll modify this one to have the same function but anyway i'll let you guys go with that have a good night peace bye Dun dun dun. Woohoo! That's right. My little pony. Hi. You having fun? Yeah. I'm having fun. You know what we haven't done in a long time? We haven't spun in a long time. So I think we will. See ya.